Hello automation animal lovers, welcome back to KT Sessions. In today's session, we are going to explore the triggers, what triggers are, how they work and the different type of triggers available. So let's see what are triggers. Triggers are like the starting pistol for your automations. Triggers tells automation anywhere when to initiate a specific bot or task. This allows you to automate processes that react to certain situations rather than needing manual intervention. So in general, we can say triggers enable a task to run automatically in response to an event that occurs on the computer, such as a file creation or a folder creation. In Automation Anywhere, there are a lot of uh, different type of triggers available. You can see the list here. As per your requirement, you can uh, select the type of the trigger and uh, then you can drag drop that trigger to this working area. So for example, I have uh, created this folder. Let me show you. So I have created one folder, A360. And I want to trigger my bot as soon as someone saves a file in this. Means it could be a business requirement also so uh, in your bot you are receiving you are receiving the inputs from the business and they are saving the file in a particular folder location so you can apply a trigger on it so that uh, as soon as file is available it will trigger the bot because if we manually check the folder again and again whether file is available or not or if we depends upon the email means after saving the file uh, the user will send the email means I have saved the file and then we can trigger the board manually so it is very time consuming process we need to monitor the uh, email box throughout the day so to remove that uh, manual intervention we can use these triggers so now we will see how can we trigger uh, how can we trigger a board when someone saves a file in this folder okay so i will copy the path of this folder and as we are applying the event on the folder so we will go to this files and folder triggers and uh, i will select the folder trigger in the properties we can uh, see we need to input the folder path so i have given this folder path and start the bot when so we can select the event here means when a folder is created when a folder is renamed when a file is created file is changed so we can save or we can choose the event as per our requirements so i'm going to choose file created and monitor all folders under the folder path so if you want to monitor the subfolders of this folder we can give the we can check this otherwise let it be and assign to so we will get the metadata of the trigger in this so if you want that metadata means the trigger type event type timestamp from folder to folder so if you need that type of details so you can create a reward type of variable and select that uh, variable here so now i have set up a trigger means as soon as a file is created in this folder our bot will get start, get trigger automatically so let me run the bot I am running it with the trigger run with triggers okay so it will trigger only when we will create a new file or when we add a new file I means if we move the file from any other folder to this folder then also it will tr get trigger here you can see listening to listening for trigger so it is waiting for the triggers because we have uh, run with triggers and uh, our bot will get started as soon as we create one file for example if i copy this file and paste it here so now a new file has created in this folder and you can see this has changed to deploying to your computer now our bot will get start see so this is the benefit of the trigger as as soon as that event will occur it will trigger the bot all right so we got this message works because uh, we have only this message box in our task board. So let me close this. So similarly, you can uh, explore other events. 
of this folder uh, trigger similarly we have a file trigger and uh, the events are quite similar to the folder uh, folder trigger and now let's explore another trigger which is hotkey hotkey trigger triggers on a key press event as soon as we press any key it will get trigger so let me show uh, first of all we need to configure this so for example if i select a letter or a number or a special key or anything uh, function key so whichever key shortcut you want to use you can uh, use that so i'm using a and uh, from here you can select the special uh, key uh, for example i'm using control so as soon as we press the control a it will trigger the board so again we need to run it with triggers so as of now we are running it from the control room only but i will show you how it will work uh, post deployment means once we move the code from private to public so af after that we have to configure the uh, this uh, trigger on some machines means if event occurs then it should trigger this bot on the on the this particular machine so that we need to configure see it is again listening for the triggers so if i press control plus a from my keyboard it will get started see deploying to the computer as i press control a so uh, everything in the background uh, has selected because control a generally we use for uh, select all this is how hotkey triggers work works and uh, there are a lot of uh, different type of triggers available so let me show you this process trigger and also you can apply multiple triggers uh, in process triggers we can select the name of the process on which we want to apply this trigger so it contains the list of the triggers which are uh, uh, the processes which are running uh, at the moment so uh, uh, for example this one chrome.exe cmd.exe so all these processes are running at the moment so we can apply condition on any of the uh, okay uh, let's choose for example we are using this chrome.exe so start the board when the process start okay and uh, we can again save the output uh, in that record type so let me run this with the trigger so now we have set up two triggers so let's see what will happen so there are two triggers now either the uh, when we press control plus a it will get trigger and uh, if we open chrome browser or uh, whenever uh, that chrome.exe process will get start it will get trigger at that time also see it has uh, automatically get uh, deploying because uh, that chrome.exe process that is running in the background so it has uh, started automatically okay so this is how you can explore other triggers also and uh, if you want us to post a video on specific uh, trigger type we will post one video please leave a comment okay so let me show you one more thing so now let's say uh, enterprise edition you will uh, see one option to set up your schedule scheduler or uh, trigger so in enterprise edition when we deploy our task board to public or even trigger uh, means we can set up the trigger on a particular uh, machine means whenever this event occurs our bot will get trigger on that particular machine so thank you guys for watching this video do let me know if you have any doubt or any question in the trigger section uh, i mean trigger uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions about triggers or automation anywhere in general feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more automation content bye